At Activate Learning, we've just made an exciting new update to the iQuest IDE Assessments feature. Teachers can now configure and save assessments for each unit. The assessments are available to all classes taught by that teacher and can be started and stopped whenever the teacher is ready for the class to take an assessment. Each unit has a bank of questions to choose from. Teachers can choose which questions they want to allow each class to complete. Students will see the questions the teacher has chosen for their class and the responses will be automatically saved so that teachers can review and provide comments. For schools who have purchased STEM gauge NGSS aligned assessment items, these will now appear in the IDE as well. Here's how it works. When teachers log in, they will see a menu on the right side called Assessments. This menu includes three choices, My Assessments, Start and Stop Assessments, and Student Answers. Let's take a quick look at how to create, save, and assign assessments. Under the Assessments menu, select My Assessments. This will take you to the My Assessments screen where you will see any assessments you have created. To create a new assessment, click the Create Assessment button. Name your assessment. You can change the name later. Next you will see a bank of questions that can be used with the current unit. If your school has purchased the STEM Gauge NGSS aligned resources, you will see these questions in the next tab. Click the box to the left of a question in order to add it to your assessment. The choices are automatically saved. Preview the assessment by clicking the Preview button. Return to the question bank by clicking Configure. When you are finished adding questions, click Save. Return to My Assessments and you will see the new assessment in the list. To start and stop an assessment for your class, click on the Start Stop Assessments menu. Then choose the class from the drop down list. Now you'll see a list of all your assessments. Click Start to start an assessment for that class. The button will say Stop. When the students sign in, the lessons for that unit will be grayed out so that they can't look back at them for the answers. Students can click on the assessments and see the one assessment available to them at the bottom. Students can then answer the questions and then hit submit. Once the students have submitted their work, the teacher can stop the assessment by clicking on Start Stop Assessments, selecting the class, and then clicking on the Stop button for that assessment. Now the teacher can select Student Answers from the right side to view Student Answers. Simply choose the class, then choose the assessment, and finally choose the student. The teacher will be able to see all the student responses as well as the correct answer and then type in comments. The teacher can also submit an overall teacher comment. And then submit the comments for the student. Finally, the student can log in, scroll down to assessments, and review teacher comments for any of the assessments. We hope that you and your students enjoyed this exciting update to the assessments feature in iQuest IDE.